Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for SAT. We have been solving SAT grammar questions out of this book here, the official SAT study guide. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 660. Please turn to it. Page 660 and today is our lesson number 25. These questions are a series of 18 questions. The first few questions of the 18 questions, the first six or so that we saw on page number 658, we did those questions. Those were the easy questions. We did those questions on day before yesterday, day number 23. Yesterday we did, we, we did the problems that you see on the previous page, page number 659. Those were the medium questions. And today we'll do the last few of the series of 18 questions. And these are hard questions. Number one, it says, it says, the number of awards given this year to biochemists accentuate something, something, something. That's how, that's how sentence reads. It says, the number of awards given this year to biochemists accentuate something, something, something. Now the very first thing that I always tell you to look for is the subject verb agreement, which is why it's the very first on our checklist. What is the subject of this sentence? Is the subject of the sentence awards? Is awards the subject of the sentence? The answer is no. The subject of this sentence is the number. Is the number. And their, their trick, as I've told you many a times, if you've been watching the videos, if you've, if you've been watching these grammar videos uh, in the first 24 days, I've reminded you many a time, this is the oldest trick that they pull. By when I say they, I mean the college board, the ETS, Educational Testing Service, the people who give you the exam. The people who give you the exam, that entity is called the College Board, which is a subsidiary of what is known as ETS, Educational Testing Service. The oldest trick that they pull when they give me the grammar question is they give you the subject of the sentence in the very beginning of the sentence, they give you the subject in the very beginning of the sentence, and then they give you a whole bunch of mumbo, jumbo, mumbo, jumbo, mumbo, jumbo, and they try to put uh, keep the sub subject of the verb as far apart from verb as possible in the hope that by the time you get to the verb, you will forget what the subject of the sentence was. And believe it or not, it works for a lot of people. They, they have no idea by that time what the subject of the sentence was, and they do not realize that the form of the verb that, that is being employed does not agree with the subject. Here, the subject is the number. Everything else that we see is mumbo jumbo. Everything else is mumbo jumbo. I'm going to keep on going until I see the verb. Verb appears here. And to convince you that it is mumbo jumbo, we're going to now get rid of everything. And now the sentence reads, the number, the number accentuate something, something, something. Do you see a problem? The number accentuate something, something, something. No, number is singular. The number of people, we say, the number of people, the number of students, is not R. The number of students is very large in this school. Not R. The number, we do not say number R. Number is singular. The number is. Similarly here, the number accentuates. Number accentuates something, something, something. The number accentuates something, something, something. And that's our answer choice B. That's all. That was the oldest, oldest trick that they, that they pulled. And apparently it works even in the hard questions. Number two. The novel was once, was once, the novel was once, more widely read and was more popular than Charlotte. That's what the sentence reads. Everything in between I left I, I, I left it out because it's not important to us. 
in high school in the US, that's not something we are interested in. Just consider on the juicy bits. Do you see the problem already? Do you see the problem already? It says, one more time, it says, the novel was once more popular, was once more widely read, rather, the novel was once more widely read and was more popular than Charlotte. That's it. That's the end of the sentence. It was more popular than Charlotte. The problem is that, problem here is what is known as, what is known as parallel construction. Item number six on our list. Here, we're comparing somebody's novel not to somebody, uh, not, to somebody's, not to someone else's novel, but we're comparing with some other person. We cannot go around comparing a novel to a person. We have to fix it. It should read, it should read, the novel was once, or rather if you like, instead of saying the novel, let's put down here her novel. Her novel was once more widely read and more popular than Charlotte's novel. It should say, then Charlotte's novel. That's it. That's all there is. And then that's answer choice D. Let's go on to the next one, number 28. Number 28. Until it can be replaced by a faster, until it can be replaced by a faster, more efficient and more economical means of transportation trucks will carry most of the freight oh my god it goes on uh, it goes on more within the within the within and through the metropolitan area within and through within and through metropolitan areas I'm writing this entire sentence on a purpose usually as you know by now if you've been watching my videos in the past 24 days most of the times I'm too lazy to write the whole thing down I just concentrate as I would I always tell you consider in the juicy bits. Uh, here I'm writing the whole thing down on purpose to show you how they pulled the trick. The oldest trick as I, just, as I just got done explaining was that they put the subject of the word in the beginning of the sentence the subject of the sentence rather they put the subject of the sentence in the beginning and then they put what I call the, te for the technical term that we use is mumbo jumbo mumbo jumbo and then very late in the story they give you the verb by that time, people have long forgotten what the subject of the sentence was. What is the subject of this sentence? I'm going to show you what the subject of the sentence is. It says, until it can be replaced, you have, you have to ask yourself, what does it mean by it? This pronoun that they're using, it, it's a pronoun that they're using, somewhere down in the sentence, it must tell us what it refers to. What does it refer to? What is the subject of the sentence? Until it can be replaced by a faster, more efficient, and more economic means of transportation, Trucks, trucks, trucks. Let's get rid of all the thing in between. Trucks will carry most of the freight. Trucks will carry most of the freight. What will carry most of the freight? Trucks. Until, until what? Until they can be replaced until they, the trucks, until the trucks can be replaced by, and it's, what he says is that, until 
they can be replaced, they being the trucks, until they can be replaced by a faster, more efficient and more economical means of transportation, trucks will continue, will, trucks will carry most of the freight within and through the metropolitan areas. As you can see, they have made it far too complicated a sentence just to test a very simple concept, which is, are you able to realize that we are talking about trucks, plural. It should be referred to as they, not it. If you can refer to trucks, we have to use the plural pronoun, they. That's all. The answer is A. The very last one. Nearly all of the editors of the magazine agree. Nearly all agree. Nearly all agree that of the two articles to be published to be published his is the more exciting more exciting nearly all editors agree that of the two articles of the two articles to be published Fujimora's is the more exciting is the more exciting no actually let's make it interesting we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually make a make a mistake in this sentence we're gonna change this sentence so that there is a mistake in this sentence and it is going to be very similar to what we did a little while ago number 24 and number 18 we're gonna this is number number 20 this was number 29 we're going to make it like 26 and 18 okay let's do it there you go nearly all agree nearly everybody agrees that of the two articles to be published this is the most exciting well if there are only two we cannot use superlative Superlative is the most. This is what is known as superlative. This is the most expensive house. You understand? Among the three houses that we saw today, his was the most expensive. But if you only saw two houses today, you will not say of the two houses that we saw today, his was the most expensive. You will have to say his, is the, his was the more expensive one. This is wrong. It should say not most exciting, more exciting, because there are only two articles to be published. So everybody agrees that of everybody agrees that of the two articles to be published, his is the more exciting one. That's it, it's fine. The answer is E. Now I just said his is the more exciting one. That was just a slip of the tongue here. It doesn't have to be there. We can just say his is the more his is the more exciting, which is fine. I don't want you to think that this needs to be changed. It's fine the way it is. This is the more exciting. That's it. The answer is E. I will see you tomorrow when we'll begin our grammar questions in exam number six. This book that you see there that I show you in the beginning of the clip contains 10 real exams and we have been solving grammar questions every single grammar, well not every single grammar questions, I take it back. We have been solving some grammar questions from these exams here. I haven't done every single grammar questions as opposed to math where I did actually do every single math questions. Here I have just done one section, a part of one section of each of the exam of the first, each of the first five exams. We are done with the first five exams. Tomorrow we will start the second half of our journey with the exam number six. Each, each one of these, uh, these uh, exams uh, takes uh, takes five videos, takes five clips to finish because these are very time consuming problems. This is not the uh, same as solving a math problem. This requires some explanation. And it takes me five videos to make one exam, which is why today is exam number 25, uh, day number 25 rather, and it's the end of the fifth exam. We'll begin exam number six tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.